Hi Libras, you and Taurus have a reading right now. We are doing a whatever comes out. So I decided to come back on tonight and do this. Whatever comes out is usually, you know, I shuffle the deck. I read you what comes out right away. And we're gonna get started with this black deck. It's Manic Mondays with the gem on the back. Welcome to this evening's. Now it can be love, it can be any messages that we ask for. Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna do two more shuffles, okay? Two more for the sign of Libriano. <laughs> Libra's please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. What are the highest messages in their placement in the universal energy tonight? What do they need to hear most about love? What do they need to hear about themselves? And I'm reuniting with like six friends tonight I haven't seen in a long time. And I put on a mood ring and it was bright green at first. It was bright, bright green. So that meant I was like calm, right? And then it turned black like a couple minutes ago. So I'm going to leave this mood ring on for the rest of the week. It's like a royal blue now. It's kind of like a dark blue. So welcome to the reading Libras. That was two. We're going to get the shuffle. The bottom of the deck is uh, the chariot. Okay. Question and answer time. All right. Welcome. So the chariot could be present as an energy that's cancer. We have two cards here. I cannot see them yet. And that's our third. So we have the Queen of Cups, and she is upright tonight. Cancer also. Two Cancer energies to begin. The Queen of Cups is very feeling. She's understanding. She could be described as very, very sensitive. This person's intuitive. They are a reader. Uh, this is someone who, without cards even, can tell what's happening in the energy. If this is a Libra female, like a DF, Divine Feminine, you almost call things with foresight. It's a gift of yours that you know you have, okay? Maybe even just feeling your environment, feeling people, very sentient, okay? Next one, and I have a call coming in, so I have to ignore it. The Magician, Gemini Virgo. Let me see if I can move the light a little bit. Gemini Virgo energy, and we see here manifestation, okay? I see here that you've come into a, a part of your life, Libras, where you only keep people who genuinely want to be there for you. It's like you just want your core people, the ones that you can trust. Okay, we picked up trust in the first reading today for singles and you could be met. I think this is you. This is your own manifestations. Your dreams might be coming back to you from childhood. Things that just simply inspired you as a human being. And it's a rush. You could be getting a rush of things at this time. What I see here is like very intuitive, very much in manifestation energy. Uh, Queen of Cups to the Magician. So this is all you. We have the Three of Swords reversed. You could talk about a breakup energy. My throat chakra is acting up. You could talk about breakup energy, uh, a release of somebody too in the current. You know, when this is reversed, it means the swords are starting to fall out, okay? Like a realization, a very, very deep one coming from heartbreak. This isn't like overall Libra energy right now. There's a lot of like separation, breaking up in the twin flame cycle. We picked it up earlier too. And let's see what else is here. The bottom of the deck is the Fool, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Star. Okay. The Fool, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Star. Look how pretty that is in pink. It's almost like someone very much views how humble you are and in admiration it it does come in as a lover's energy like this person's very sentimental over you they feel like you are the star okay that's the channel i got looking down at this card they feel like you deserve things that are good to you and i only you know i pick up on like a lover who's coming in for you and i also pick up like a very very new feeling with the star okay let's keep going can we clarify the queen of pentacles please the fool is also here new beginnings ripe new beginnings possibly after these three swords fall out okay that's what i'm picking up so far queen of pentacles please what's the queen of pentacles the four of pentacles is reversed okay so letting go of something that's generally what the capricorn feeling is upright it's like this you have it in the reversed motion the six of swords comes in it's almost like you're healing and manifesting at the same time okay it is a very much sordid effort to get it together and start healing on your own. This is a single Libra who's quite powerful right now because you have a lot of majors that are important. The Fool, you have the Star and the Magician already out the gate. I'm picking up on heavy Divine Feminine energy, but there could be a masculine here, okay? There's a lot of Libra masculines who are also in this energy. Magician to the Star. Alrighty, 
what is um what's going on and what is the alchemy of this situation thank you alchemy of the situation is the two of swords something's been decided this is reversed something's for sure decided like you're definitely nine of cups upright you're definitely in a good space okay decision based time with the two of swords reversed it's like no longer in confusion about something and we see the six of pentacles this is giving back I feel like somebody is so reciprocal to you right now or you're receiving this energy. I want to even say tonight, Libras, like you could have a, a loving message come to you about uh, returning something to you, something that was lost. And I feel that in a sentimental way too. I'm feeling it right here. Six of Pentacles, can I clarify that? That's an interesting card. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I also have Gemini here, Virgo, and, the, and Aquarius is the star. We have slow, slow feelings with the Knight of Pentacles. It's like slow to come by, slow to see, come to a fruition. There is an energy around you that is slow to approach, okay? There could be a delay or two here with the Knight of Pentacles. Can I clarify that delay? The lover's reversed. Mm -hmm. Big time, like a promise not coming. You seem to be in a good headspace, though. Like the star is good headspace. The fool is something decided. The three of swords reversed is also cool because it means that it's starting to heal you from deep, deep within, from your heart's core to your spine. It's that deep. Like I feel you've come to a resolution of some final things, you know, how, how people treat you slowly, how people have been non-respondent to you. All right, let's continue here. Late night messages. What's the lesson here? What is the major lesson of this? King of Cups. Eight of Wands. King of Cups to the Eight of Wands. It's like a direct message, okay, about feelings. It could come in late tonight. We have the Four of Swords. You've taken some rest and relaxation, which is like here in your present. That's a Libra card. You know, the Four of Swords is rest, rejuvenation, relaxation. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Pentacles. All right, somebody wants to work with you. Look at these two threes. One is reversed and one is upright. The swords are falling out of the heart to display that you are feeling better about a decision. Let me just focus here. Let me press focus. There we go. We have the three of pentacles of someone energetically wanting to work with you. It seems like you like laid down and rested your mind tonight. Seems like a lot of you are getting that spiritual rest, even the physical rest too. There was a leaf that like hit the window right now. That's a sign. There was a leaf that like just hit the window. <laughs> Scared me almost. All right. Let's see what's going on here with pentacles. Can I see the pentacles messages for Libra? What's the um, earning potential at this time? The page of pentacles and opportunity. The five of cups. Something that was lost is not truly lost because you have an opportunity coming in with the page of pentacles. And we have the five of swords. So I think you utilized some of your pains, Libra, to like immediately go to your work. You spent a lot of time with your work opportunity coming in with that page. That's also like your own skill development. You could be a business owner here and you have a rather tough skill level where you, you work very hard, Libras, and it's a hard earned effort. So you play hard and I'm getting that play hard, like rest and relax easy too with the page of pentacles. The Lovers is here, bottom of the deck, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so we have this from a different deck now. We have the Lovers and the Eight of Cups. Something that you walked away from is making its return again. It's coming back around with the Sun. Okay, could be dealing with a Leo, a Gemini, and I also have the Four of Swords. Maybe another Libra here. Okay, could be coming back around for something almost like a meet and greet to you is what I'm getting as the channel. And I tell you right away how it comes out like a meet and greet. What is that energy? Thank you, the star. You guys keep getting this, look at this. The star is here heavy, Aquarian, but I read it as your energy tonight, Libra. Wanting to work with the star, somebody wants to co-collaborate with you. That's the eight of cups, I'm sorry, eight of pentacles to the star. It's collaborating with you. We also have another collaboration card here to prove or to show up for you. What's the main message of this opportunity coming in and the rounded out message for Libra tonight? The Three of Pentacles. There's still something here that's gonna work out for you regardless. This is destiny. When I see the Three of Pentacles, the star and the Three of Swords reversed, something is still gonna work out here. Eight of Pentacles even to verify in the energy. 
you have two eights, eight of cups to the eight of pentacles. Can I also review that, angels? What's the two eights? The knight of cups, a brand new opportunity. Somebody new tonight is charging in in your energy with the chariot being the first card at the beginning. You know, that's somebody moving towards you and we have a knight of cups. Clarify the uh, three of pentacles and the knight of cups. Just one card, the three of cups. This could legit be tonight. <laughs> I'm just going to say it like this too. This can legitimately be a gathering and a get together, a harmonious event where I definitely think you're going to be seen. You are definitely a star. The star and the three of cups. Look how beautiful. The star and the three of cups. Okay. Clarify the eight of pentacles and the knight of cups. Thank you. The high priestess. That's the last card here. So you know that this is coming. You know it's going to be a big shift because of all the majors that have showed up for you. And you're going to have a lovely entrance into a new beginning. Check this out. New beginning. It's time to shine. I feel like some of you are coming into your true self. There could be messages about this because you have it upright with the eight of wands. But you're walking away from something really toxic that needed to be gone to begin with. And that is the reading Libras. This one was one of my favorites in a very, very long time. I felt called to come back to the tarot room. So let me know if it resonated. Let me know what these cards mean in events wise to your life. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for your, um, your amazing support this past year. It's been a wild ride, but I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. You guys are excellent and awesome. And I'll see you tomorrow.